Uh, welcome back to another video. Thank y'all again so much for watching. If you are new to this channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below, right below the video. It's a little red rectangle button about that small. Once you click it, it'll turn brown. I mean, I'm sorry, gray or blackish grayish. Um, next to it is a bell. You can hit the bell and select all. That way you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Um, share this video with anyone and everyone you know. And give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Feel free to leave me a comment. So today we're going to be having steak fajita nachos, okay? I just finished cooking this, so if y'all want to see how I cook it, go to my channel, Cooking With Miss D. It's all capital letters, and then you'll be able to see the video on how I cook this steak fajita nachos. All right, y'all, let me say my grace, and we're going to get it eaten. Amen. Yeah. I got a lot of bell peppers and onions in here. And I got um mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella cheese. Mm -hmm. Look at that. I meant to show y'all a picture of that before I started eating, but I'm sorry, I forgot. I'm still smoking. I forgot, y'all. Ooh, that's cheesy. Hold on, y'all. Mmm. Hold on. Y'all know what I want to talk about there? Cyber bullying. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I had ran out of storage on my phone. I was trying to hurry up. My food was getting cold. Cold apple juice. Ooh, they're good. Echo. So I said bullying. First of all, I want to understand. Not know, but I do want to understand how. I got my pot on. How can somebody get bullied on the internet? You know how my? How? Through messages. Okay, through messages. I mean, like. Comments. Comments. Okay. Messages, comments. But you got to sit there and actually look at this stuff. Am I right? Because that person ain't in your face. And because they're not in your face, they, you know, whether they cowards or whatever, by choosing to do this to you, you still got to actually sit there and look at this stuff. You know what you? In order to be cyber bullied. So I'm still trying to understand how you get cyber bullied. Like, can't you just change your whole email address, get another email? Can't you get get a get a no other a whole nother Facebook address or whatever? Can you do all that? Can you do another? So how do you sit there and be cyber bully when you could change it? That's what I'm trying to understand. Like when you could change the outcome of you sitting there looking at this stuff, reading it, crying, getting mad, getting sad. You sitting there torturing yourself by looking at this, reading this. What somebody else saying about you? Whether it's true or not. It don't have to be true or not. But you still reading it. So if somebody was cyber bullying you, you just going to sit there and read it? What would you do? Maya. I'm asking Maya, y'all. She like. Hmm? Maya said she don't care. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
But everybody ain't like that. Everybody ain't confident like that. So. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that one. I just don't understand how you could just sit there and let somebody bully you over the internet by what they're saying. I don't understand that one. Now, bullying, face to face. Mm -mm. That, I can understand. You're scared. You don't know what to do. A lot of parents, they go back and forth, back and forth to the principal, sister principal, to the school board. Nothing is being done about this child that's bullying their child. I ain't with it, y'all. <laughs> I ain't with that. Only thing I can say is how to get rid of a bully. You have to let the children fight. Sorry. Sometimes you just got to let them fight. Sometimes you got to let them fight. Even if they ain't that type, they like to fight. Even if they don't know how to fight, they're going to have to fight. Because they ain't going to leave them alone. But I can tell you what to do, though. I can tell you what to do. Let them put them some rocks or something in a sock and take it to school. <laughs> Might be laughing. Let them put you some rocks in a sock, take it to school. Put it in your book bag or in your pocket. Shoot. Get you one of those small canned goods. Like these right here. Let me see. The thing that came out. Did what I used to take to school. Tomato sauce. A little tomato sauce can. I'm playing a game. You may be jumping on me. Put that in your pocketbook. Mm -hmm. Put it right on in your hand. And don't, don't try to hold it. Hold it with this end. So when you get ready to hit them. You hit him right outside the forehead with his hand right here. You'll stop him. You will stop him. And a lot of times, the parents know that their child being a bully. I don't say every time. I say a lot of times they know and they just don't do nothing about it. So that leave me with no choice. It leave me to fight back. And I ain't even going to talk about my kids. And your child bullying my child. I'm going to have that conversation with you one time. After that, it's on and popping. It's on and popping. Nobody's going to sit there and keep on letting your child beat up on their children like that. And not all the time that we know our kids are being bullied. Because they won't tell us. So. That's why we got to pay attention. And be looking at things, you know. Maya come here with a, a scratch. I know she didn't leave here this morning. Wait a minute. How you get a scratch? How you do that now? Mm -hmm. Don't let it not make sense to me. Wait, wait, wait now. Because, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes they want to tell the parent. She ain't got to tell them to do some investigation. If I find out it's been true, it's on. Is on. I'm going to contact the school one time and let them know one time. I ain't going to keep going back and forth while my child keep getting beat up. I'm going to get in touch with their parent. Talk to their parent once. And don't nothing happen after then and don't stop. 
I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna um, incriminate myself, y'all. But it's only popping with your child. It's only popping. Put it like this. I'm going to do something to them that you should have been doing to them. You're beating on my child. Well, since that mate. Mm. I'm still crunchy. Mm. Mm. Let me get me a fork. And then y'all, y'all got some parents out there that they just don't believe in violence. And they don't want their children to fight. I understand. It ain't like I just go around you know saying, oh yeah, I like violence. Oh yeah. No. No. None of that. I mean, I wish the world could get rid of all the violence as well, but I know it's not going to happen because that's the world that we live in. That's why we have to praise God. But I'm not going to go into that. I ain't no preacher. Uh, like I said, I totally believe in God, trust in God 100%. But your child ain't going to bully my child. I don't care what we got to do. We're going to have to get rid of that right now. Because that can't happen. And then if you monitor your kids more, You would know if they're being cyberbully because I don't care if you 18, 19, 20, you stay in my house, you're going to do what I say, or you're going to be out on your own or with somebody else. Okay? Um, especially somebody, a 12 year old child, 13, 14, um, you should be able to walk into that door anytime. What you on? What you on? Or go in there later when they're not in there and go check everything that they've been on. on their, computer that way you can find out what sites they on what what sites they were on and everything so a lot of time it be our fault as parents because we don't pay attention to things and uh, we don't monitor things and then before we know it we'd be the lost our child to certain stuff so and you say all the time I say sometimes it'd be our fault as parents Y'all, my nieces don't even want to come on my house stay the night with Maya. She be so lonely. She be want kids all the time. But they only want to stay the night because guess what? They ain't got no privacy over here. You don't close that bedroom door. I like to hear that conversation. I want to hear what's going on. What y'all talking about? Who you talking about? And how you talking about it? Guess what? Don't close that door. Now, at nighttime when it's time to go to bed, you can push the door up. But you better not close that door. While we in this house, while we sitting in this house, while I'm alive and kicking, close that door is a problem. Changing your clothes, that's fine. Or you can go into the bathroom and change them. It don't bother me none. But if y'all change your clothes, you can close the door. Open it back as soon as you're done.
But yeah, my little niece and them say I'm you know, I I don't think they say I'm mean. They might, I don't know. They say I fuss too much. <laughs> so they don't really be wanting to stay over here with Maya. But it is what it is. I fuss cause I wanna make sure they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. If I didn't fuss, then that's a problem. That's when it should be a problem if you didn't fuss. When girls get together, they be in their room. Not here, I'm just saying. When they're not being monitored, all along get together, they go in their room. You don't know what they own on the internet. Don't know who they're talking to. Maybe talking to grown men. And don't even know it. The next thing you know, one I'm missing. Two I'm missing. Three I'm missing. You don't know. Now on my watch. Nope. She's 13 years old. She's never, ever, never, 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 ever at the age of 13, 14, gone anywhere without an adult. Nowhere. Nope. And the adult ain't gonna just be any adult. It gotta be an adult that I trust. That I know is gonna pay attention. It ain't gonna be somebody that's 18, 19, 20 years old. That's gonna go somewhere with them and sit down on their phone. Not pay attention to what's going on. No. It's gonna be somebody I trust. That I know. Gonna keep an eye on them kids. And they're gonna come back home the same way they left. Because y'all gotta realize something. That sex trafficking, it ain't going nowhere. It's still out there. Everybody focus on coronavirus. But sex trafficking, girls and boys, it's still out there. So y'all better be careful with the kids. Be careful. Watch your kids. Pay attention. Know where they at. They're fat. I don't want that. Even when they get older, if you're still at home, if you're still at my house and you older, just let me know where you're going. Just in case anything happens. You never know. You know, I need to know where you at. I mean, you got a curfew to be back in, but... Hey, mom, going, you know, to so and so so so. We're going out to eat, um, going out of town. Let me know where you at. Let somebody know. If you don't want to let me know, let somebody know. So if anything happened, we would know. Well, now nah, he or she, you know, they said they were going over here. No, oh, they said they were going out to eat. So now nah, that can't be them. But if nobody have no idea where you are and something bad happened, then, you know, it's just, it'll be a sad situation. So. I just encourage all parents to pay close attention, and I know some of us do, you know, and for the ones that don't, you know, start. It's okay. Rules change all the time. If you let you allow your kids to do this, do that, it's okay. Take it back. Well, you used to let me? Used to. I don't know more. Well, I used to. I don't care. You ain't no more. Well, well, nothing. One more time. It's on and popping. Okay. That's all you got to do. Change it. If your rules used to be, well, I can't change it because I used to. Yes, you can. Change it. You the parent. You could do it. But anyway, that's my mm, take on things, you know. Like I say, you know, for people, children, adults, anybody who's out there getting cyber bully, um, like I say, I don't really understand. So I'm not judging. I'm just, you know, going off of my point of view. Change your information. Like change your email address. Change your stuff. You don't have to sit there and read it. Even if they saying all this and saying all that, don't read it. Skip over it. You know? Don't make people let you feel a certain type of way about yourself when you know that's not you. So that's all I'm going to say on that. 
And if they bullying the kids at school, let your kids fight. That's all I got to say about that. I'm going to see y'all on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Peace, love, and blessings to you all. Keep God first. And have a good night, y'all.